Hello, I'm JW, and today we're using the CNC machine, and what we're going to do here is some surface planing, or basically just uh, flattening off the top of a piece of MDF, and this is in preparation for some engraving, which we're going to be doing at a later time. And the reason we're doing this is because although the bed of the machine is pretty flat, it's not 100% perfect, there's actually a variation of about half a millimetre or so across the actual bed of it, and uh, although that doesn't sound like a lot, when you're actually engraving something, that is enough to make it look absolutely horrendous, so obviously the depth of engraving would vary by that amount across the surface of the item. So this is just basically taking off a very thin layer from the top of a piece of MDF, and that means that then we know that's perfectly flat, and more importantly, it's actually fully squared up with the actual machine itself. So then we put the uh, thing we're engraving, which in this case is a very thin sheet of aluminium, then of course we know that the uh, top is going to be much more in line with the machine, and we're not going to have the problems of wonky things and uh, various depths. And we can't plane the surface of the thing we're doing because say, it is a very thin panel, and the uh, top surface of that is only for sub one millimetre thickness anyway, so obviously we can't uh, cut that down to size. Now in previous videos when we've shown the CNC machine, some people have complained bitterly that it was running ridiculously too fast, and obviously it should run at a much slower speed. So let's just check the speed of the machine we've got set today, and uh, here it is. So I think you'll find that's perfectly adequate, and just the kind of speed that we need to actually run the thing. Here's a look at the cutter we're using. It's a uh, flat surfacing cutter, as you obviously uh, that's what we're doing. That's 32mm across in this case, half inch shank. Uh, obviously it's uh, already installed in the machine as we see there. So two flutes or two blades basically. So that would just rotate around and cut a 32mm wide path. And the piece of material cutting out is approximately A3 sized. It's slightly larger than that because the thing we're actually engraving is in fact A3 size. So uh, it's going to cut out a small recess of that size. <laughs> Now that's that uh, completely finished and cleaned up, and what we've got now is this flat area in the centre, whereas uh, it's on this side it's probably about sort of half a millimetre of cut there, and on that side it is in the region of the one millimetre, which was the actual setting that we used. So although it's not a lot, when you're actually engraving stuff that uh, variation will result in a difference in the depth of the engraving, and though it's only half a millimetre, when you're only engraving to that kind of depth of course it looks uh, absolutely horrendous and uh, turns into a disaster. So I've got that bit of recess there, 
And the thing we're going to be engraving is this item, which of course will just fit down inside there like that. And we'll be uh, fixing that down with some uh, double-sided tape later. And what this stuff is, is actually called dye bond. It's basically an aluminium panel. It's white in this case, you can get other colours. So a very thin piece of aluminium. And on the other side, also thin aluminium. And between, it's basically black plastic. And then the idea is you can engrave this just enough to cut through the aluminium layer. And then of course the black shows through underneath. And then obviously you can uh, see whatever you've engraved on the face of it. And this will actually be a control panel, so it's going to have various holes and things as well, which we'll obviously uh, be looking at at a later time. And if you think that this sounds familiar in terms of aluminium and with a piece of plastic in between, then it is. It's that horrendous cladding that they used on uh, certain high-rise buildings. And of course there was that one that uh, set on fire and killed a lot of people, but uh, fortunately this is not going on a building. It's going on a piece of machinery, so perfectly good use for that. But uh, yes, it's a similar design of stuff to that. So that would just fit down in there. I've cut the recess slightly larger so we've got a bit of uh, adjustment room there to get it in but uh, that's pace of the deal and then we'll obviously engrave that once we get the uh, engraving thing set up. Obviously we're not going to be engraving with the bit we have because that's clearly far too big. So that's the uh, surfacing of that and so that was a relatively large cutter and the reason it was at a slower speed than in some of the other videos is purely because of the dimensions of the cutter. If it's going to rotate at a certain speed, the larger the cutter is, then basically the slower it has to rotate because the actual cutting speed of the edge of the cutter, of course, is considerably greater with larger diameter cutters. So uh, obviously running that at, say, 24,000 RPM wouldn't be desirable or particularly safe either. And of course it leads to things like chipping off and uh, things flying across the room and doing all that. So uh, a bit slower there. They could probably go quite a bit faster there, but uh, it's only a small item, so any time saving there is going to be minimal anyway. And also the idea is to get a decent finish rather than uh, maximum speed. So uh, that's it for this video. And next time I'll have a look at engraving that panel. Until then, thanks for watching.